Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. Point nine K I S W the Rock of Seattle. Steve, all day long, you know what it is, buddy. That's right, the music of the Pacific Northwest. BJ Pearl Jam, Allison Chains, Presidents of the USA, all that good stuff. Oh yeah, it is Seattle Rock Day. Now, Steve, we highlight excellence in broadcasting, and usually it's a professional broadcaster. But you know what? I think we got to turn our attention to Arkansasian amateur broadcasters. Yes, this one in particular, who did a great play-by-play while his brother-in-law was cutting a dead tree next to his house with a chainsaw. Okay. Um, now I, I feel like something bad's about to happen. You think? You think so? Why? It's his brother-in-law. I'm sure he knows how to cut down trees with a chainsaw, and. Sure, maybe the pickup truck was parked a little too close to the action, and sure, the tree fell the wrong way. All righty. So we're, I'm in Arkansas with my brother-in-law. Got this tree right next to the house right here. Been dropping limbs on top of the house. And so Terry said, hold my beer. I'm going to cut this thing down. So let's see what happens. <laughs> I better get far enough away. Let me get into the safety zone here. Good job, buddy. Somebody's got to survive this, <laughs> so we have the story to tell. Oh, my God. Now, if Yolanda was here, she may not approve, but uh, she ain't here. <laughs> this is my only warning. Terry, don't do it. Don't do it. Hey, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> That's it. It's coming! It's coming! Oh, yeah. wow, right Oops. on top of his truck. You yeah, should have listened to Yolanda. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that crushed that bad boy. And again, oh, it's I better mean, that than the house. Uh, well, yeah, I agree. Except, you know, when you're cutting down a tree and the truck is in view, like you can see it, you're filming the event and your truck is l- pretty much right next to the tree. Why wouldn't you move your truck? Because he trusted Terry. Oh, he, he thought trust- that yeah. Terry was going to yeah. be able to cut the tree so that it would fall the other direction. I respect that he trusted his friend. Yeah, well, Yolanda wouldn't want this to happen. Oh. His brother-in-law, that is. Yeah. Oh, man. That, so, yeah, that's that's just wonderful. Is Yolanda his wife? It's got to be, and that's her brother. So that's why her brother, that's why probably Yolanda wouldn't approve, because she knows how dumb her brother is, and, well, he just he just got the tree down right on top of their truck. And I love that he's like, all right, in honor of Yolanda, Terry, don't do it. Like, yeah. from, what, is he maybe 20 feet away from Terry while there's a loud chainsaw? Like, Terry yeah. can hear that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Terry, don't do that all right wow. let's do it do you think that's Hold my co- beer <laughs> that was the best part yeah that was the yeah that uh yeah hey, do you think that's covered i mean you know we we, we see all those, i don't think stupidity is a cover yeah. your insurance for your car you see a lot of great of those a lot of those great commercials you know mayhem that guy that's uh, this is definitely a mayhem moment where mayhem is like i'm the guy who's decided to have his beer held while i cut down the tree and land on your pickup I'm not encouraging insurance fraud, but I would imagine that it's probably in their best interest for them to just say, a tree just fell on my car. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you probably have to show the tree. Yeah, and they probably go like, this isn't Seattle, this is Arkansas. Where's your windstorm here, sir? I don't, uh, there was no windstorm. And then they're probably going to be like, we were on YouTube the other day. Yeah, there's the (laughs) other thing. Looking at the trending videos. Yeah. Was Terry holding your beer while doing that? Yeah, Yeah, I think they can't really do much fraud now. And then, of course, we're talking about it. We can't be the only radio station. So I think these boys in Arkansas are not going to be able to do insurance fraud. So then we, if anybody who's a texter who's an insurance agent, is there any kind of coverage for stupidity? Uh, could you let us know? Because uh, before Steve and I decide to cut down a tree, is there a clause in insurance that if you don't yeah. listen to Yolanda, that you don't get the money for the car? Steve, hold my coffee. And uh, if Vicky were here, she, nah, she Vicky would say to do it too. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I would totally be in for this. 
Oh, I know you would be. Yeah. Yeah. I've always wanted to cut down a tree with a chainsaw. Oh, really? That'd be fun. Would you mind parking your car close no. to the tree, please? That's no, because I-, I know I'm stupid. So <laughs> yeah. I would try and make sure I'm cutting down a tree that has no, no chance of hitting a house, a car, or a person. Yeah. Boy, that, uh, that, that's, yeah, that's. Well, Steve, I can get you up on my roof and we can cut some branches. Oh, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Can I use a chainsaw? Um, if you bring one, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, because I have a chainsaw just in my garage. <laughs> well, hey, listen, you I went to Texas one. one time. Everybody that goes to Texas has to have a chainsaw. Yeah, I went to go see WrestleMania in Dallas. And yeah. on my way out, they yeah. gave me a chainsaw. <laughs> it's, it's part very of very weird. It's part of what Texas, it's part of Texas culture. Just in case there's another massacre, everybody's prepared. Yep. You go to Hawaii, you get a lay. You yeah. go to Texas, you get a chainsaw. Yeah, that's how it goes. I mean, Rev does need his uh, fence demolished, so we could just knock Ooh. out two birds with one stone. You know? Good call. Ooh, yeah. Good call. Uh, no, we would what? freak your neighbors out if we took down your fence with a chainsaw. Uh, <laughs> there are multiples of us with multiple chainsaws. Even better. Just running around. Ah! I'll make sure and provide hockey masks, too. Yeah. Nothing or, can or, speak use about that. Or clown masks. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. That wouldn't look bizarre. <laughs> just people in clown masks with chainsaws. No, that's fine. Okay. Just can a I, work party. Can I be in a onesie? Like my Pikachu onesie? Wouldn't that be awesome? Uh, oh, he's you an electric you. chainsaw. Yeah. No? I mean, yeah, sure. Do what yeah. I want. Why do you want to wear a onesie? I'm not going to tell you not. I think he just made it weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With I her made Pikachu it weird. onesie. I mean, who? A Pikachu <laughs> I mean, with a hand. I'm saw. just trying not to scare everyone. Yeah. Just weird them out. Yeah. Well, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm all for this idea. I'm also uh, very upset at Danny right now. Why? Because he said, you know, use the two birds with one stone. You know, what, what's, what's, oh, what's the problem? Yeah, thing? You got to you know. feed two birds with one scone. Yeah. Daniel. Sorry, Sorry Peter. Danny, jeez. I mean, you Why know. Why you got to hate Peter? What do you think we are? In Arkansas where you can chuck, you just you cut down any tree on top of your pickup where you want? That's not how we do around here. That just, accent took me down there. I'm sorry. It's because Yolanda's not here. Danny just thinks he can just say whatever he wants. True. Yeah, you know, uh, that, yeah, that Yolanda can't take a day off, apparently. <laughs> just stupidity just runs rampant. Can they please interview Yolanda? Why weren't they? Oh, yeah. You filmed the stupid tree going on your, your pickup. Yeah. The least you could do is when Yolanda shows up is to film her to give her some closure. Hey, here, I, I, I can just hear it now. Here's Yolanda just, you know, a big SMH. Oh, you damn fools. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you, you can just hear, you can hear it in her voice like, hey, he's a jits. Nope, I feel like she would lose her freaking mind. Oh, you think yeah. it's going to be a loser for your mind I'm, moment? I'm, I'm so on Vicky's side for this one. What are you doing? Oh, this poor woman. You know, uh, oh, I mean, she's lived. <laughs> yeah, she has lived with her brother for how many years, though? It can't be a surprise. Then when she goes, you let that damn fool cut our tree down. OK. What if it's the brother in law, though? Well, I don't know who's related to who, but I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. That would be well, even worse. If it's the brother-in-law, then yeah. Then you know what? Yolanda's like, look, I married you, not your whole stupid family. <laughs> I thought I told you. I'm trying to figure it out. And then one story says, guy ignores his mom's advice. So maybe Yolanda's his mom. What? <laughs> Okay, that's not mom's house. Is it mom's house they're cutting a tree down? Oh, that's even worse. That's your dumb kid. Oh, I thought it was his property. Well, no wonder they have no problem. Oh, uh, it's mom. She'll probably come home and be like, ugh, again. Oh. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like this won't be the first time that Yolanda has walked in on her kid doing something stupid. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I thought there would be a little bit more upset. Do you think that's not even his pickup truck? Do you think that's why? Or, uh, no, or, it's got to be one of the two's pickup truck. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. But I think the guy on the camera, I would just assume, I thought it was his. But maybe maybe it's the, the idiot tree cutter. I think it's Terry's. Oh, it is Terry's. Well, Terry, that's I, my guess. I, that, was my, that was my initial thing, too. What if it's Yolanda's? And no. I don't know, maybe she took an Uber somewhere, probably to go out drinking because of her stupid brother and brother-in-law. Look, I'm not saying that you, Uber doesn't, they're not around a lot of places, but I have a good feeling that Uber is not available where they are. Yeah, listen, we're not going to, we're not going to service this area because you never know when one of our drivers will drive by and you guys cut a tree down on top of his car. We don't need that. I, mean, I can't get an Uber in downtown Vancouver. You think I'm going to be able to get an Uber in like the most rural part of Arkansas? <laughs> you know what I think the problem is, Steve? We're city folks. Okay? And you know what that means, Steve. City folks just don't get it. That's what it means. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. Ninety-nine point nine KISW, the Rock of Seattle, and we are, of course, celebrating C 
Seattle Rock all here at the Rock Seattle all day long. As a matter of fact, it's my favorite day of the year outside of Thanksgiving. It's my favorite day of the year, BJ. All the great Seattle rock music from Soundgarden, yeah. Queens, Right, Heart, Jimi Hendrix. These are bands. They are all from the Pacific Northwest. All on Seattle Rock Day. All right, I got a list, and everybody argues over a list, but this one. Oh yeah, that's gonna be an argument because this one claims that these are the ten best fast food French fries in the world. And this is according to the editors at FoodBeast.com. Oh well, they're the authority. They know they're food the Food Beast. Beast. I would like to work for Food Beast. I would like to work yeah. for Food Beast. All right. Uh, and I will tell you this, the biggest snub, and I think the folks that are going to be really, really ha- unhappy about this. Dicks. Uh, well, d- here's, the, the trouble you is... You better the, watch your mouth. Yeah. This is... Look, Dick, Dick, I got a little too a, aggressive really on that. Aggressive on <laughs> my <laughs> bad. I'm sorry, Rev. That was unnecessary. <laughs> They're not a national brand. They should be. And um, so they probably wouldn't show up anyway, even if they were as good as you believe they are. Yeah, Steve. they're just gross, <laughs> sloppy, floppy fries. It's not my favorite kind of fry either, Rev. I'm with you. I'm not say, I'm not going to say anything disparaging. I just you don't like that. Not. I just don't like that type of fry. Yeah, see, he understands respect. You shut your whore mouth, Rev. Shut your whore mouth! I like the fact that they're greasy and that they they got the potato skin and they're they're floppy. I like the limp fry. I don't yeah, like the sure limp, do. man. At least I should tell your wife. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Hey, honey, no, you should like the limp fry. It's the best. Wow. The limpier and the oilier, the better. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> greasier. Flag that. I just want a greasy limp fry. Burger King didn't make the top 10. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a beating for Burger King. You know whose fries are really good? Um, I don't know if they're going to make it because I don't know if it's like a, that big of a chain. Wingstop. Wingstop did not make it, and I think you're right, only because it's probably not as big as some of the folks on this list. I mean, the folks on this list, you've heard all of them. I'm pretty sure uh, they yeah. do a little bit of a sprinkle, sprinkle of um, uh, sprinkle, sugar on them. Sprinkle, do a little sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah, they got some sugar on there. Uh. Really? Yes. Okay, I got to try that. It's really think about, good. I don't think I've had sugar fries. Sugar fry. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need. Of course, I need sugar along with my fries. <laughs> yeah, come yeah. on. That's what I need. I need carbs. And more carbs. I was and, talking to my friend Cooper last yeah. night about like we would just be asking about like just like weight loss and f- working out and all that. I'm like, yeah, you know, I just I just feel like as soon as I put in a good workout, all I want to do is eat. He goes, man, I listen to your show. All you ever talk about is eating. Of course, that's all you want to do. He's right. And I'm like, yeah, I guess that's a topic of discussion on our show all the time. So true, dude. I mean, it's it's so hard to make the choice, man. Well, number one, I don't think it's going to surprise everybody because people do love their fries, McDonald's. Yep. And Danny says, yeah. It's the gold standard or I the mean, golden uh, arch standard. Yeah. I mean, for the national chains, I do believe that if you get to go to some other joints that are not national, like you Dicks. know, yeah, uh, or Little Woody's. Little Woody's fries. I love are, their fries. They're very similar to Dex, man. Really? I think they're a lot thinner. Am I thinking of the right? Am I thinking of the right? They're place? a little more crispy, but they're 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 pretty similar. That's yeah, what, they that's are what I love about that's what I love about Little Woody's is that it's very similar to Dick's. Yeah, yeah, I'll go I'll go to Little Woody's more than Dick's because there's just less floppage. Yeah, it's the, yeah. I are think, we still yeah. talking about French fries? Yeah. Pretty sure. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind the I don't mind the skin on them. Okay, uh, but it's the floppage that I don't like. Of course, not. you don't <laughs> mind the skin on them. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nature the, uh, and I also like sweet potato fries. And there's a couple of places I've Ooh, gone to the yeah. Ram. Yeah. Oh yeah. I have. I, it's been a while, but yeah, they do make good sweet potato fries at the Ram. Uh, yes, Dan. If I go to other like fast food joints and I'm just going to get a hamburger, I'll go to McDonald's and get fries from there, and then go get like a hamburger really? from Burger. Oh yeah. A lot of people are saying uh, Five Guys. Five Guys came in actually number eight. They used the peanut oil. Their Cajun fries is what came in at number eight. The peanut oil is good, no doubt about it. Yeah, uh, no doubt about it. Number two on the list. I'm just shocked that Danny will not enjoy the fries of whatever place that he goes to. It just depends. But yeah, I love McDonald's fries that much. I crave McDonald's fries. But you like the burgers at Burger King better. Not better, but I like a good Whopper every now and then. So, so you'll just go to McDonald's, get the fries, then mm-hmm. drive on. Well, you're a connoisseur. I mean, you're like, all right, I'm a, yeah, basically you're turning your, your, your lunch, you, the, the entire freeway is a big food court for you. You'll just go from place to place to get exactly what you want. Dude, I'm with pretty much. Pound for pound, the Whopper might be my favorite of all the fast food hamburgers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, that was a big change. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It brings me right back to my childhood. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that was the first burger I ever had. They are flame royals. They wow. are flame royals. It was a Whopper Junior because I had a little mouth. Somebody wants to know if I had Chick fil A waffle fries. How can that not win? Oh, those are uh, good. Well, you know what? It was close. They came in at number two. Those are damn good. Yeah. Okay, they came Reverend in at I, number two. And, we're back on the same team. Yeah. And I, I would say this I think it's only because Chick fil A just isn't everywhere the way McDonald's is. Mm-hmm. I that, think their sauces go a long ways, too. Like the Polynesia sauce is pretty awesome with their waffle fries. 
Dude, when we got chicken nuggets, myself and the Ted Smith, and I was like, they're like, okay, what kind of sauces do you want? I'm looking at all the sauce options. I'm like, what, you guys don't have sweet and sour? How do you not have <laughs> sweet and sour? And they're like, uh, that's Polynesian sauce. I'm like, oh, well, I want that. Why would not you just say sweet and sour on it? Uh, because they're fancy. They, they want to go with all the, you know, go back to the roots. Oh. Yeah. Uh, number three is a place that, man, I really want to go to more, and I think it's just all about real estate. You know, they talk about real estate. If you read uh-huh. any of the books about why certain fast food or anything is successful, it's not about what they sell. It's about their location. Sure. And I think this is true because Arby's does not have anywhere near as no, the locations that I know. I see all the time the way I do McDonald's or Burger King. And I love their Jamocha shakes. And I love their curly fries, which came in at number three. Curly fries are good. But I don't see an Arby's everywhere. So, And I also like a roast beef sandwich once in a while. It's like, that is awesome, too. But again, location, location, location. See, I, I contend, so though, that the curly fries at Jack in the Box are better than the curly fries at Arby's. I have a conspiracy theory about those fries because okay. they are amazing. And but I feel like they have their regular fries are very lacking, so you have to get the curly fries. And at that point, then you're like, okay, these Ooh. curly fries fries are awesome. At Jack in the Box? Yeah. Oh, so you Jack think the fries are great. It's a their regular switch. fries are you shut terrible. Your mouth, Rev. They're so bad, <laughs> the but truth? the curly fries are so good by comparison. Conspiracy. You have to get the curly fries. My favorite is getting the regular fries at Jack in the Box, but every once in a while I feel like they're just doing it, trying to get you hooked on the curly fries. Yeah. Everyone, by the time you get to that bottom of that little bucket, there's a curly fry or two in there. Yeah, there's a couple that, curly fries. Oh, it's like a happy reward. Oh, you think that they, yeah, they're the first one's free. Yeah. Yeah. It's telling you you made a terrible mistake, Steve, I, <laughs> and get the curly fries. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised. Is Wendy's on this list? We've had a few Wendy's people texting about it. Wendy's numero five zero. Okay, because those fries are fantastic. Yeah, they're number five. But steak, about Shake Shack beat them out. Uh, Popeye's fries with Cajun seasoning came in at number six. Oh, I just went to, I went to Popeye's the other day. It was awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you dug it? Well, I went and I just got some of the chicken tenders, right? And I pulled up to the window. And I don't know what was going on at this Popeye's, but it was like World War Three amongst the employees. Oh. They're all yelling at each other. Really? And cursing. Like, Whoa. something happened. And the manager just is like in the middle of it. And finally just looks at them all and goes, will you all just shut up and get that man his damn food? And I'm like, <laughs> That is I don't know so if I awesome. want my food. Were you in Tacoma? I was in, uh, where is it? Uh, bah, 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 Renton. Oh, okay. Because I've seen something similar to that happen in Tacoma. Yeah. Well, not at a, Pope, at a Popeye's? Yeah. You mean, so maybe, that's, maybe that's the great thing of working there is you get to yell at each other. It's the customer service oh there. Oh, my gosh, dude. They were, <laughs> they were yelling. I heard them yelling before I even got to the window. It was awesome. See, wow. that, that that shouldn't be the case because you're not getting paid a ton of money and you're giving out goodness to people. No one should be upset. <laughs> I mean, really, you're giving out tasty goodness and and, and, well, and it's somebody like a, set somebody off yeah. and it set somebody else off and then all of a sudden the manager's like, "You get this man his damn food," and I'm like, "Whoa!" I mean, if you thank you for my chicken tenders, <laughs> they were delicious. Yeah, see, uh, see, I don't think that kind of stress should happen at a job that doesn't pay a skillion dollars. I think stress should only be reserved for people that make a lot of money. And then, and, and but so, so you I, think a lot of people are stressed out because they're not making enough money to deal with the crap that they're dealing with at wherever they are? That's why work should be at least a place where you don't have to feel that. Like, I can see if you go home and you look at your bills, but work should be a place where you go, all right, well, at least this is such a great place to work. I'm not stressed out. I know I don't make a lot. And that's what I hope. But you're right, Steve. It probably bleeds over. Oh, absolutely. But man, you know, I want people to be happy where they're giving me tasty goodness. And I would have figured, oh, this is just a bunch of young kids. It was a, these were adults. Oh, that's not, yeah, see that? I was like, I'm sorry you guys all hate each other, but your, your chicken is delicious. So, so, uh, Del Taco, do we have any? Yes, we do. Yes. We do. Okay, I don't have any around me. Their French fries are <laughs> awesome. You get tacos and French fries. And you could drive down. The closest one is in Federal Way. I've dri- made the drive down there before. But they have really good chili cheese fries. If you ever get or chili cheddar fries, they're the best things in the entire. I world. love that Danny made the pilgrimage because you know Fetty Way is not a is about what a half hour forty minutes away from where you are. Yeah, yeah. That's you know what you're you're, you're committed if you're going to do that. Felt one in Puyallup. Go F yourself with <laughs> no, Just go F yourself. Uh, five guys, as we told you, number eight. And uh, Taco Bell's new season fries. I, I, if they do this next year, this list, I have a feeling that Taco Bell might rock it up to the to top five. These. I need to try these. Yeah. See what's up about them. I want to as well. They're um, pretty great. Yeah. All right. So uh, KFC rounded out with their, pota- with their potato wedges. Uh, and yeah, so Steak and Shake, which we have been to at the uh, Mall of America. I love Steak and Shake. Mm-hmm. Sonic, Dairy Queen, Jack and the Box, Hardee's, Carl's Jr., In-N-Out, In-N-Out, which I'm not surprised. Their, their fries 
fries are really uh, in and outs fries are not the great they're like they're they're not the reason you go oh, go for the okay. yeah I don't remember yeah. I was so wasted when I had in and out but their shakes if they did a shake thing I think in and out should be in the top five hmm. uh, but there you go but yeah all I those ones I just mentioned there. they all got they all got snubbed. Like Carl's Jr., In N Out, Jack in the Box, Dairy Queen, Sonic, Steak and Shake. None of those got on this list. One person says, F you guys, you're making it hard for me to focus on my diet. <laughs> I'm with you, bro. I, I went to a place yesterday. Where'd you go? I went to, well, it's a, uh, called the Island Crust Cafe on Mercer Island. Oh. It's been there forever, but they opened up a lot of new places. And I was like, I, I was talking to Sarah, I wonder if they're still in business because they've opened up all these other joints. Because uh, it's a pizza joint and they've opened up a couple more. And it turns out they were there and I went in and I had myself a nice meatball sub without the sub. So you just had some meatballs. Had some meatballs. I wasn't sure if they were going to do it for me. I was like, look, dude, I... Can I get the meatball sub without the sub? I wanted the sub Why wouldn't so they bad. do that for you? If you pay, why wouldn't they just scoop you a know bunch what? of meatballs that's, and put it on a plate? That's exactly what they did. And you know what he made it? He made it, put it in a little lettuce thing, and then I got some vegetables to go with it, and it actually was pretty damn good. Huh. Yeah. So do you put, um... <laughs> Never <laughs> I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> I know. I'm so hungry, and I and, and I really try to be good during breakfast and lunchtime. I like the meatball sub over at the uh, the subway, right? Hey, over at the subway. <laughs> hey, you know, over there at the subway. But they always give me weird looks when they're like, "Well, what do you want on it? Like lettuce, some pepper." I'm like, nothing. Well, I, yeah, because you're not supposed me- to meatball sub. That's it. That's all I need. I don't need anything else. No vegetables. It's just a meatball sub. See, that's uh, my complaint with these sandwich artist shops. It's like. Look, you know what you make. I want that in the picture. Mm-hmm. There's no, there's nothing in there but meatballs but no, in but, the picture. But some people might want it that way. So I don't just, mind if they do. Yeah. But it's like, you know what? I, I give you an answer. I want that. Just give me extra meatballs and we'll call it good. Oh, that's a good call. You know, instead of some lettuce and meat, what do you say? Throw a fourth meatball, fifth meatball? I'm okay with say, that. Hey, over there at the subway. Hey. Hey, somebody brought up one. I don't know if they make it makes the list because uh, is it fast food Red Robin? Because Red Robin's French fries are fantastic. See, I think, and they're bottomless. I, I don't think Red Robin's considered fast food. Yeah. I really don't. I mean, because, I mean, they make their burgers fresh and they've got like that gigantic burger menu. It's more of a restaurant. It's, it is a restaurant. It is. Yeah. And I agree their fries. Are, well, I mean, Red Robin. That, that, we're talking yeah. a whole different experience. That place is awesome. Today's podcast is brought to you by bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagne, who's ready to answer your questions about bankruptcy. Travis, is it true that if you file for bankruptcy once, you can't file again? Even if you filed bankruptcy before, you can almost certainly file bankruptcy again. Different types of bankruptcies have different time limits between filings. In Chapter 7, full bankruptcy, you can only file Chapter 7 once every 8 years. However, you can always, almost always file a Chapter 13 case. Chapter 13 cases can be filed uh, immediately following a Chapter 7. They can be filed immediately following a prior Chapter 13 case. Chapter 13 is a reorganization plan, so there will be some type of monthly payment, but it's based on your budget and your ability to afford that payment. So Chapter 13 is an option in almost all cases, uh, even with a prior bankruptcy filing. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. Thanks for listening. Keeping up with the flood of news every single day can be quite stressful. There is climate change happening. There's the pandemic, labor movements, Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend. Hi, I am Gideon Resnick, host of Crooked Media's What a Day. Each week, Travel Anderson, Priyanka Arabindi, Josie Duffy, Rice, and I are going to break down the biggest news stories of the day in a way that hopefully doesn't always make you want to cry. New episodes of What a Day drop every weekday at 5 a.m. Eastern. Listen on Odyssey, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.